on the water. And then he said, Jesus, if that is you, bid me to come on the water. Of course you can come. Because it's the same key. If Peter uses the key tonight, it will open the door. If John uses the key tonight, it will open the door. Just mean, you know, if you open the door tonight, this a door will open. Okay, Ngozi, that's your name. Ngozi, if you open the door tonight, it's the same key. It's coming. It's coming. And I said, it will happen in Jesus' name. Whatever door you open, that door will open. And whatever door you close, that door will close. You open it here on earth, heaven will confirm. You open it, you close it here on earth, heaven will confirm in Jesus' name. Tonight, you will decree. Tonight, you'll pronounce the blessing you, you want. And you are carrying that blessing out of this place tonight in Jesus' name. Uh, look at this. Look at this in Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. And I'm reading here from verse, uh, we're reading from verses 7 and 8. Matthew chapter 10. And we're reading from verses 7 and 8. Here he tells us what the Lord himself is saying. He's saying that now you have the key. What are to do with the key? And as you go preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. It will happen tonight. Cleanse the lepers. It will happen tonight. Raise the dead. It will happen. And then cast out devils. Freely ye have received and freely give. No wonder, no wonder. John, James, and John were going to the temple. And they saw this man. They've been seeing him a long time. He said, just paralyzed over there. And then all of a sudden, Peter said, John, wait. When do we pass this man here? When we have the key in our hand to open the door. Because whatever we bind here. Here on earth. Will be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose here will be loosed in heaven. And then said, look on us. Something is going to happen. Look on us. Silver and gold have I none. But what I have. You knew he had something. Do you know you have something? I said you know you have something. You have the name of Jesus. You have the power of the Holy Ghost. You have the authority of the word of God. You have the anointing that breaks the yoke. We have it tonight. I know I have. I know I have. I know I have. You know. You have the key. I have the key. I say, which one are we going to use? You say, Pastor, use yours. I use it. It opens. I say, the next door, you use your own now. Let's try your own. Whether your own is fake or counterfeit or genuine because my own is genuine. I said, my own is genuine. And as you mentioned the name of Jesus, that name of Jesus will destroy the works of the devil. And it says, silver and gold have I none, but what I have not what they have. I know what I have. I said I know what I have. What he says, what I have I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Did it happen? It will happen again. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. It happened at that time. It is happening again. Look at Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. And I'm reading here from verse, uh, from verse 17. It says from verse 17, And this sign shall follow them that believe. Any believer there tonight? Any believer there tonight? This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name? Whose name? In my name? Whose name? They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. Your life is secured. I said your life is secured. When I come next time, if Jesus tarries, I'll find you here. You will not die before that time. You cannot die before that time. Whatever happens, God will keep you alive. I said God will keep you alive. Look at it. It says, and any, any test that comes to you, you will remember that. You remember that. And if the, the devil says, uh, huh, something is getting you, you say, no, it cannot get me. I said it cannot get me. Because I'm, going, I'm still going to see the pastor. I said I'm still going to see the pastor. I cannot die now. 
Say it for yourself. Let people hear you now. <laughs> you are not that. The number of your days it will fulfill. While you are going through any condition, remember that you are going to remain alive. You will be alive in Jesus' name. It says, it, not, it shall not hurt you. And then it says, they shall lay their hands on the sick. And, and somebody will recover there tonight. And they shall recover. That's what the Lord is telling us. And it will happen in Jesus' name. Look at this. When Jesus said, Peter, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. There was one man that was not there. He was chill in the field of sin. He was chill in the wilderness of sin. He wasn't there. And now Jesus died. And Jesus rose again. And the day of Pentecost came. The man was still not there. And when after the people started preaching, the man did not even understand. He was persecuting them. What's his name? Paul. And then eventually, he came later. He came much, much later. And after he came later, he was converted. Ah, did he say, oh, what, what a pity. If I had been there, I would have got my key. But he also got the key. He came later, he got the key. And you came later, and you're getting the key. I said you came later, you're getting the key. Some people think that the key was given to Peter, the key was given to John, and the key was given to Matthew, and now the rest of us now, what are we going to do? Thank God, I came later, I got my key. I said I came later, I got my key. Look at this, look at this. Acts of the Apostles chapter 14. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, I'm reading from verse 7. Look at it in verse 7. And there they preached the gospel. And then it says, and there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet. And it says, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had what? And that's the same condition, that same situation that Peter saw in chapter 3. And the same had, tell me the name. Tell me the name out loud. And the same man had Paul speak. And who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, tell me out loud. Stand upright on thy feet. What happened? And he lived and he walked. Did he have the key? I said, did he have the key? Even though you are coming later, the key is coming to you. The key of authority and the key of power and the key of anointing. You are be tonight in Jesus' name. Number one is a powerful anointing. Thank God I have that. Number two is the prevailing authority. Thank God I have that. Number three now is personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Psalm 91. In Psalm 91, I'm reading from verse 3. Psalm 91. Psalm 91, and we're looking at verse 3. It says, surely I'm sure about this tonight. I said I'm sure about this tonight. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will do it. I said he will do it. Look at surely, 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 personal, personal, personal salvation is coming to you. Deliverance is coming to you. And all that you need healing is coming your way in Jesus' name. We're looking at 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And we're reading from verse 37. Verse 37. In verse 37 is this personal assurance. Personal assurance. David said, moreover, the Lord that, that delivered me out of the paw of the lion. And out of the paw of the beer, he will deliver me out of the hands of this Philistine. He will deliver me. He will deliver me. Are you there? He will deliver me. There's no doubt about it. Your deliverance is tonight. Your healing is tonight. Your salvation is tonight. He will deliver me. We're looking at Second Timothy chapter 4. 
2 Timothy chapter 4. And I'm reading here from verse 18. 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 4. And we're reading from verse 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. It says, and the Lord shall deliver me. Say that for yourself. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. From every evil work. Anything that you count as evil in your life, in your body, in your family, on your child, on your wife, on your husband, in your place of work, deliverance has come tonight. Am I talking to somebody there today? It is coming to you in Jesus' name. It says, and the Lord shall deliver me, even me, from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and uh, ever now the time of action is coming time of demonstration is coming is the time you know we have the key there must be a time we use the key and the time we use the key is arriving right now i'm going to use the key on your personal life in your family and then on your body, and the key will open every door of progress and every door of prosperity and every door of health and the door of salvation. It will open in Jesus' name. Uh, we're looking at, uh, at uh, Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, and we're reading from verse 5. And this is what will lead us to action will lead us to demonstration, will lead us to that deliverance and salvation in your life today. We're looking at Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8, and we're reading from verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, the Lord has entered into this place today. And life will never remain the same for you. There came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home, seek of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, tell me. Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. He never said no to anybody. Anybody looking for salvation, he never said no. Anybody asking for healing, he never said no. Anybody asking for deliverance, he never said no. If he's going to say no, it will be for the first time after 6,000 years or after 2,000 years. But he never says no. And tonight, he will not say no to you. Heaven has said yes concerning your case. Heaven has said yes concerning your request. Because the key is already there. If he didn't want to, to use the key, he will not give you the key. But he said, behold, I give the keys of the kingdom unto you. And whatsoever tonight thou shalt open will be open. And whatever tonight thou shalt close will be closed in Jesus' name. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. And look at this. I will come and uh, heal him. Look at what the man said. And the centurion answered and said, uh, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. Then he said, but well, speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Tonight, that's the key, the word. The word of power. The word of authority, the word of anointing, is the word of healing, is coming your way. It's the word of deliverance, is coming your way. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. I have the key with me here today. I said I have the key with me here today. I have that anointing, I have that authority, and the name of Jesus is here. Whatever your problem, whatever your sickness, the Lord is going to set you free today. And then, of course, the key to the kingdom. That first of all, you enter by repentance and say, I want to be saved. There's salvation. I said there's salvation. And that salvation is coming your way. It will forgive your sin. Then it will set you free. And then you can say, I'm a child of the kingdom. I'm not just a person that came. You know, some people, they come like they come to the restaurant. And then they eat, after they have eaten, they say, praise the Lord. That was a great uh, restaurant. And then they come out, but they don't have the key to that restaurant. They cannot get there anytime. And that's only one meal. And when you take that one meal, and then you are hungry again, what do you do? And then they have closed the door, and uh, you cannot enter because uh, the opening time is over. But if you are a child in the house, anytime there's hunger, then you take out the key, and you enter that place, and you say, what? What have you come for? 
I'm a son in the house. I came to eat. He says, sit down. You eat and go out. You don't drop your key there. You put your key in your pocket. And if you're hungry again, you go back there and open. You are not knocking at the door. Is anybody there? Anybody there? They are there. No food is inside there. You open the door. And for that to open to you, you must be born again. It means that you are a child in the kingdom. Anytime you can come. Like many people today now, anytime they can come and something good will happen to them. I said something good will happen to you. You will get saved. And getting saved is simple. It just will say, Lord, I am part of the number. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. I come. I turn away from my sin. I take Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. It says, whosoever, whosoever, anybody there? I said, whosoever, anybody there? Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And salvation happens. And after that time, come and see doors opening in your life. And come and see miracle flowing. It's your life. Tonight is the night. I said tonight is your night. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Jesus Christ is right here. He's saying, I want to forgive your sin. I want to give you the key. The key is salvation that brings that sin. And he wants to do it in your life. And if you want him to forgive your sin and change your life and give you that salvation right now, because whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He's calling you right now. You raise up your hand. He'll forgive your sin. Where are you? Just raise up that hand. I need forgiveness. God bless you. God bless you there. Wonderful. Wonderful. A miracle will begin in your life right here tonight. Salvation is coming. Anywhere you are, raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. I want that forgiveness. I want that salvation. I want to be a child of the kingdom. I want to be a child of the kingdom. If you're raising up your hand, you'll stand up. You'll stand up, you'll say, yes, here am I, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You're raising up your hand, you'll stand up, you'll say, yes, I am here, yes, I am here, yes, I'm here, yes, I am here, yes, I am here. Don't waste time, don't waste time, he'll give you the key. You have that confidence and you have that assurance, I am a child of God, I'm a child of God. Anywhere you are, just rise up there, rise up there, rise up there, and raise up that hand. I believe, I believe that Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. Anywhere you are, just stand up there, inside, outside, anywhere, at the back, in the front, in the middle, get up right there, get up right there, get up right there. As you stand up, just tell the Lord, oh Lord, I confess my sin. I am sorry, I'm a sinner. Say that to, uh, to the Lord right there. I want you to forgive me. I want you to change my life right now. I give my life to Jesus to be my Savior. Tell him right now. Tell him right now. He will do that. You'll never be the same again. Tell him there. Tell him there. Lord, forgive me. Lord, change my life. And let your salvation, your forgiveness come to me right now. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my Savior. And from tonight, your life will turn around. Thank God it's happening right now. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. I'm going to pray for you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these uh, new brothers and sisters who have raised up their hands, who are standing up, and they are asking you to forgive them. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Change their lives in Jesus' name. Bring them into your kingdom. I pray, Lord, that all their sins, all the guilt and the condemnation will pass away, and they will know they are saved tonight. Thank you because I know you have answered. They're now in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Now my time has come. I said, now my time has come. I said, now my time has come. Does anybody have personal assurance there? I said, somebody, any, anywhere can find personal assurance there? Personal assurance that deliverance has come. Personal assurance that sickness is going away. Personal assurance. This problem, I will not carry it back home. Where are you there? Are you sure that the miracle is coming your way? Are you sure the key is here tonight? Jesus cannot lie. He said, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom. And he says, whatsoever, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That deliverance is coming to you now. 
and that healing is coming to you now. You will have it in Jesus' name. Look at that sickness, and then that's the last time you're going to see that thing. Look at that infirmity. This is the last night. You're going to see that thing immediately after the final. Amen. You check up yourself. Miracle has happened. Deliverance has come. And the healing has come. And that thing that is negative in your life is changed in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day of power. And this day of anointing, and this day of the key, the key of power, the key of anointing, and the key of authority. Oh Lord, I open their doors. Lord, I pray that all the blessings of God will flow into their lives in Jesus' name. That sickness will come out. That infirmity will come out. Lord, you have told us, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is loosed in heaven. You said, if we pronounce it here on earth, you will affirm each there in heaven. I pronounce that healing has come to them. I pronounce that deliverance has come to them. That cancer, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Asthma, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. All that uh, kidney problem, I command you, be healed in Jesus' name. And the problem at your back, I command that pain, vanish away in Jesus' name. That thing tormenting your head, I command that tormenting spirit, come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray, every sickness in their body, every infirmity in their body, you are loosed in Jesus' name. You are delivered in Jesus' name. You are healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are barren. I pray that their miracle children will come right now. Barrenness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Miracle child, come. Miracle child, come. Confirm each in their lives in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, every yoke is broken. That cause in your life is taken away. I pray that definite healing you are looking for. Right now, at this time, receive your healing in Jesus' name. That deliverance and setting free and freedom you're looking for, this is your time. Be free. Be loosed. You are liberated. Be free in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray you open the door of prosperity for them. Poverty, get out of their lives. Prosperity, come into their lives. I pray that every good blessing they need, that right now you affirm it and confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Brother, receive your miracle. Sister, receive your miracle. My boy, my daughter there, receive your miracle. My child there, receive your miracle. Lord, I, I pray for everyone. I pray that nobody will go out of this place empty-handed. The key has opened the door. A blessing has come into your life. The key has locked the door. And curses are barred from your life in Jesus' name. Lord, touch everyone. Transform everyone do something definite in every life. Confirm it in every life right now. I thank you because I know it is done. I know it is done. In Jesus name I pray. Another amen. Another amen. The key has worked in your life. I said the key has worked in your life. You will never be the same again. I got something. Where are you? I got something. I have a testimony. It is confirmed in Jesus' name.
to pray. We pray for ourselves. We pray for our nation. We pray for the challenges before us. We are believing God tonight that the Lord God Almighty is going to visit us in a mighty way in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm believing God that every impossibility, impos impossible in any of our life, the Lord will turn the situation around for our testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you because when we come to decree, when we come to pray, you always hear our prayer. The psalmist say, Oh God, I answer prayer. Unto thee shall all flesh call. When we come before you, oh God, we know, we believe that you will surely answer our prayer. You are the Amen. unbeatable, you are the unchangeable, you are the unreversible, you are the king of kings, you are the lord of lords. You have no rival, you have no competitor, you have nothing that will compete with you. You are the ancients of this. We do appreciate you, we do praise you, we do magnify you, we do exalt you. We do glorify you, we honor you, we, are, we celebrate you. We thank you for your love and for your goodness and for your compassion. A Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we come to decree tonight over our life, over our nation, we pray there will be testimony at the end of the day in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that every uh, forces that want to come against us tonight, we pray that the power of the Holy Ghost will silence those forces, and you alone, O oh God, will be glorified. Thank you, Father. Mm. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yes, uh, before the pastor that we take over, I want to announce to us that let's emote ourselves, and let's really pray. As we pray tonight, the power of God, the working power of God, the miracle power of God will prevail over our life. I call on Pastor Shego now to start with us now. Pastor Shego, you can please start over. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we hearing me? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. I want to begin by opening my Bible to Psalm 103. The Bible and join us there is Psalm 103. The scripture made us understand. He said, the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, I forget not all his benefits. I want to first of all start by praising God. I want to appreciate God. We have just concluded the GCK in Togo. And it was a wonderful time. I want to give all the praise to God tonight. I want to appreciate God for what God has done. Let's lift up our voices unto the Lord of heaven by appreciating him. Let's open our mouth and bless the name of the Lord for all that God of heaven has been doing all this while. Open your mouth and bless God tonight. This is the gathering of God's people. Let's open your mouth and bless God. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate God and praise Him. Almighty oh, God, you are not the Father who will reference you. We appreciate you, Lord. Father, we exalt your name. Thank you, Father, because you are the Lord. Thank you for the just concluded glory. 
we could never come as offended in Lomentoro. Thank you, Father, for the demonstration of your power. Thank you for the soul that have been saved. Thank you for as many that have received the healing. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the blind eyes that you have you opened your eyes. No thank you for the name that you raised up. Thank you for those who are up to you. You restored them back to the Lord. Thank you for the body of miracles. God, we honor you. God, we praise you tonight. In Jesus' name, we are worthy. We are worthy, Lord. Amen. Amen. We give you all the glory. We give you all we the give you we give you all the glory. We give you all the amen. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the Oh, no, Jesus, we give you all the glory. I can give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. All the glory, we give you all the glory, we give you all the glory, we give you all the glory, oh Lord, our God, our excellent is your name, in all we want to bless the name of the Lord. We want to thank God for all our pastors, all our leaders, and every participant on this online prayer meeting. Right from the inception, up to this present moment, whether brothers or sisters, we want to thank God. We appreciate God for the way God has been sustaining us. Open your mouth and let's praise the name of the Lord. For the battle, God allow us to hear any negative news about anyone. God did not allow us to hear bad news. God did not allow anyone to be viewed in circumstance. Why don't you open your mouth and praise the name of the Lord? God has always been there for us. Always there to fight our battle for us. He's always there to sustain us. Let's open our mouth and praise the Christ. Let's worship God in honor the name of the Lord. Oh my God, everlasting Father, Lord, we thank you. The righteous God, we exalt your name, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, once again, oh God, for every participant in this online prayer meeting. Thank you, All our brothers, all our sisters, all every one of us, all our pastors, all the ones who are connected on this platform, oh God. Father, we appreciate you, God. Thank you once again because of your mercy upon our lives. Thank you because of the abundance of your power, the abundance of your grace, the grace of God that is only helping us, sustaining us every day by day. Father, we we'll reference you. God, we honor you. Father, we thank you again. We receive and pray this tonight. But in I the mighty name will. of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
the husband that laborates must be first partaker of fruits. And here we are by the grace of God. We want to stand in the gap for our nation. But before we do that, we that want to stand in the gap, we need to nah. examine our lives. We need to look at our life once again. We want to pray to God and say, Lord, we'll bring our heart once again unto you. We bring our heart before the altar, before the throne of God. We want to pray the blood of Jesus Christ. We can begin to call upon the new Lord. We can begin to pray to God. Is there any sin in is there any iniquity within? We want to ask God and say, Lord, hold heaven to us tonight. Let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to unveil. Open your mouth and pray upon the name of the Lord. Lord, pray to God tonight. Let's call upon, let's you ask alone. God that the blood of you Jesus alone. Christ will cleanse us all through and you through. Alone. Let's say, let's you call alone. upon the Lord. Let's let call upon the Lord. Let's ask God for the cleansing. Almighty and everlasting Father, we come tonight. You. Lord, we present every one of us, every one of before. Let the blood. Jesus Christ begin to cleanse every stain. Let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to wash away every blemish, every iniquity of your righteousness out of our lives, O God. In any way we have seen, in any way we have gone astray, Father, we are pleading once again, O God, remember the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary. Cleanse us once again tonight, O Make our pure, make our heart whiter as snow. Oh Lord, immortal God, I ask you, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God of heaven, let the blood of the Lamb begin to avail us again for us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We have just returned back from BCK, and it's possible many of us will look so exhausted after the long journey. Uh, you know, the sacrifice is that we want to pray that the devil will renew our strength tonight, especially our nation. We need a renewed strength to be able to pray. We want to ask God and say, Father, Please renew my strength, oh God, tonight. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? Has that not known, has that not asked that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he fainted not, neither is with no function of his understanding. He give power to the faint and to them that have no might in this land. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray tonight that the power that God of heaven will renew our strength tonight. He will renew our strength tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, God, only Father, once again, renew my strength. Gracious God, begin to walk upon my life, God. Renew my strength tonight, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, oh Lord, my strength renew, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are the God that God has power to the faith. You are the Abdomite, you increase his strength, oh Lord. He wants to give strength in us, oh God. Strength in us in our inner man. Strength in us in our spirit man. Oh Lord, we are asking and praying that the mighty hand of God may come upon our life and pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your invisible hand of power, your mighty hand of power to rest upon our spirit, to rest upon our soul, to rest upon everyone tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in his name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to call upon the Lord. 
But before we pray, I want to read portion of the scripture in Psalm 122. The Bible enjoined us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I read from Psalm 122, verse 6, Psalm 122 in verse 6. And it says, Peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love be. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within thy palaces. For brethren and companions sake, I will not say, Peace be within thee. This man will want to pray. Let's keep on praying. Let's keep on praying. The uh, maybe you have, you have connected to the people of God in our nation. Let's call upon the Lord for the peace of God to reign in our nation. Pray for the peace of God in Jerusalem. Let's open our mouths. Yeah, I don't, is it there is no at the background. There is no at the background. There is no the background. There is noise. Let's let's keep on praying. Let's keep on praying. Let's keep on praying. Let's be asking God for the peace of God to reign in our nation. Ask the peace of God to come and take His place for the peace of God. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing? There is no response. Are we still online? Yes. Oh, thank you, Pastor Paul. Thank you, Pastor Paul. It's like the pastor that was needing, he was being uh, disconnected. Okay, let's, uh, he, will, he, will let her be, he will let her connect. Let's just open our mouth. Let's appreciate God once again. Let's appreciate him for his glory. Let's appreciate him for his Father goodness. Worship, bless Let's bless appreciate him for his protection. Let's appreciate him for all what he has been doing in our lives. Give him the glory due unto him. Is the Almighty God? He cannot fail. Is the Almighty God? He cannot change. Is the I am that I am the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Is the Alpha and the Omega. Is the Lord of Virtue. Father God, we thank you for you are God and there's none beside you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the Let's begin to show gratitude unto the, the King of Kings. Father, thank you for your word. Let's begin to show gratitude unto the Lord Amen. of Lords. 
Let's begin to appreciate the God of glory. Let's begin to celebrate him. Let's begin to honor him. Let's begin to give him the glory to you all to his name. He's a greater, he's a great God. He has no rival. He has no competitor. Thank you because no one chance of this. Yeah, yeah, but I yeah. No one that the God of glory. Yes, so to Lord, oh, we bless you, Lord. Lord. We reference you, Lord. Our God is good. We adore your and name. And it's worthy to be praised. Thank, Thank you, Lord, for your, Thank you, Lord for your presence, for your present peace. Let's thank the Lord for the for this present peace in our nation. Let's worship you for the peace of God and you know for this nation. Give you glory because you are God. We adore you, Lord, because you are God. Amen. Let's now we are going to pray, brethren. We are going to say, Oh Lord, have mercy upon our city. Have mercy upon Nigeria. We're going to pray that God we have mercy upon our country. Oh God, have mercy upon Nigeria. Have mercy oh, upon Lord, our thank you. Let's pray. Pray for the peace because of Jerusalem. Of great nation, Nigeria. Nigeria. Our Jerusalem. Lord, you said in your word that of God to reign in our, our nation. nation. For the peace we also, of we God to move in our nation. Father, we for the pray peace of God to move in our nation. For every election. state, everywhere, look and in our nation. Win the peace of God. Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again, brethren. To call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Here we are in this nation. We want to pray as we are approaching this presidential election. We want to tell the Lord. You know what actually happened in Egypt? That very night, the night of the Passover, God, the children of Israel, what to do? And it's said night, I will pass the land. We want to pray to God. We want to pray to God. Pass through this nation. Pass through this nation. Walk through this nation, oh, from north to south, oh, from Lord. east to west. Father, Every contrary thing that want to, you know, that want to communicate to you, want to pray that God will step the out of the way. Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Father, according to your Let's promise, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Father, Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, that you pass through this. Let's call upon the Lord. Father, Whatever it is that want to complete. Against God's glory, against God's will for this nation. Open your mouth and begin to pray. All the forces fighting against this nation, all the powers that are fighting against this nation, and they want to shed blood, and they want blood to cause catastrophe, and they want to cause calamity. We want to pray say God tonight. Oh Lord, come to this nation, God, as you are preparing for this presidential election. Let God arise tonight. And begin to walk through from north to south, from east to west, in every loose and crannies, in all the six geopolitical zones of this country, in all the local government. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Let God arise and begin to intervene. Let God arise and begin to walk through. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. God must arise on our behalf. God must arise on our behalf. God must intervene. We are seeing situation in Nigeria. Open your mouth and begin to pray. We are praying for our country, Nigeria. Those of us that are joining us from outside the country, the others of us that are in Europe, please. We are praying for Nigeria. This is a sensitive moment. It's a very critical moment in the affairs of this country. Open your mouth and go tonight. Let's arise and pray and say, God. Oh Lord, intervene past this nation, oh God. It's the name of Passover. Come before the throne of the face Lord. of this nation. Let God be to pass through this nation. Open your mouth and begin to pray. All the forces of darkness, all, of all those demonic power, all satanic power that are, that are consumed them, that have made up their mind, and they say they want to ruin this nation. They want to turn it to a war zone, a war zone. Oh, we want to pray, say, God, oh Lord, we rise to let you begin to mangle the power. Begin to silence the computer. Oh, Open your mouth and begin tonight. Who can back with the Lord? No demon, no devil, no evil spirit, no power of darkness can back with our God. Open your mouth, begin to pray, let God arise tonight. Are you with the brothers and sisters? Let God arise tonight and begin to pass through this nation. Let God arise tonight 
again to intervene. We want divine intervention. We want speedy intervention in the face of this country. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 We want to pray tonight, brethren, Amen. to call on the name of the Lord. If we can't this Nigeria, I hope you are listening to me. N for nepotism. Yes. I for insecurity. G exploit. R for religious fanaticism. I for injustice. A for action. Tell the Lord, Nigeria must pass away. The whole thing that comprises nepotism, insecurity, greed, exploit, religious fanaticism, injustice, and to pray tonight. And say, God, we want a new Nigeria. We want a new Nigeria. Let God arise and begin to give unto us a new Nigeria. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Let God begin to give us a new. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, Nigeria must go. Nepotism, that insecurity in their face of the nation, all those things must be a thing of the past. Greed. And all manner of violence and evil, loud all the weakness and autism, all a thing of the past. So pray. Devil, let Nigeria give us a new name. Open your mouth and make it pray tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let God give us new Nigeria. Open your are you praying? Open, open your mouth in the name of the Lord. Let's ask God to give us a new Nigeria, a new Nigeria where there is righteousness, where there is peace, where there is surplus, where there is revival, where there is, you know, where there is tolerance. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Where there is fear of God. We want a new Nigeria. Let God begin to intervene. Let God arise and help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth upon the Lord. Father in heaven, the Lord and say, God, we want that new name, O oh God. Lord, we once again, in of our lives, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, pray. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, we Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to once again. We want to the Lord. Go to the Maya Tensi Day. I have said over the nation and over the kingdom. There are kingdoms that are fighting against the soul of this nation. There are against our economy. There are kingdoms that are against good good things in this nation. We I here state here as a as state called this state generally we have almost about 20 mineral resources here. But do you know if you look at the state one of the states that is so backward state here and we want to pray to God we want to pray to God we want to tell the Lord oh God Arise to help us, oh God of heaven. Arise, open your mouth and begin to pray that the Lord will intervene. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight to call upon the name of the Lord that God will help us once again. He will, he will revive our economy once again. He will intervene on every side in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the economy, in the social economy of this country. Let God begin to have his way. Let God begin to intervene so speedily in the affairs of this Nigeria. Open your mouth and begin the Lord time. It's time to lift up our voices unto God. Open your mouth, brethren. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name. Let's ask God for divine intervention, divine intervention, particularly concerning this presidential election. 
National Assembly and all that. We want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, have your way. Name. Are we praying, brethren? Open your mouth. Father, we are praying Father, about Father, our nation. Father. Anything that our nation affects us, brethren. Anything affecting us affects 